Hi, Derek DeVille here, top five Century 21 agent in Southern California. And of course, real estate is a complex business and we run into all types of scenarios and that's what separates a fantastic agent from just an okay agent is having resources like Mike Arias here from Chicago Title and Escrow. And uh, Mike, I had a client unfortunately pass last night. We had the property listed, we got an offer. And uh, the good news is, is he had a will, so there should be no problems, right? Well, it's an interesting question. We've been having this come up quite frequently lately. And uh, the title, as title companies, we don't like wills. We like the trusts. Because um, remember, when a property is in a trust, that is the Bible for that property. That tells us what can happen and when it can happen. For instance, the husband passes. When the husband passes, the wife can not sign. Or who else can sign for the wife? So that thing's going to tell us when, how, and who can sign. And that's what we have to follow. So when the property comes into the transaction and there is a trust on the property, mm -hmm. we're going to ask for a copy of that trust and we're going to go buy that trust. For instance, if somebody's incapacitated, that trust will define incapacitation and who can sign when there is an incapacitation happening. Um, also, too, uh, you know, people think that a power of attorney will help in this case, too. Unless the trust specifies a power of attorney can work for the trust, power of attorneys usually never work in a trust situation. So in this case here, we have a will. Um, if the wife is still alive, as long as they were on title, the husband and wife is joint tenants, um, we should be able to move forward with that, with the uh, filing an affidavit of death of joint tenant with the original death certificate and be able to pass title with the wife's signature only. Okay, so normally... If you don't have a trust and you have a will, will that automatically transfer most of the time? Never. We Never. Only, we only want a trust. So a will is not what you need. Never. Here's the news. People always think, oh, I've got a will. It's fine. A will does not do the job. You need a trust. The trust will also state, too, if you have kids, what happens to the kids upon death? What happens to the jewelry? What happens to all the monies? What happens to the IRA money? What happens to all these funds? and belongings and that's the importance of having these trusts people say oh you know it's going to cost me a thousand or two thousand dollars but they don't realize that hey when you pass this is laying everything out for everybody else yeah. that way we're not guessing mm -hmm. and having to go to probate and fight it out in court this trust is going to alleviate all that stuff and, and help us move forward there you go so th this is the bottom line folks you need a trust number one you need a trust and if you're going to get into a real estate transaction, you need a real estate agent that has resources like I do with Mike Arias here to where problems do arise, we can take care of them. Or you know what we can, we can do and what I do on the front side is we take care of it on the uh, before we even list it, we get a listing preliminary title search so we can see if there's going to be a problem that way we can avoid it all together. But anyways, thanks for your time, Mike. And uh, I'll be bringing some more useful information to you. Have a great day.